सिर्फ सुदीप भार्गवा सिर्फ राजू सिर्फ पार्वती अम्मा सिर्फ समात्मा सिर्फ हितकारी जी सिर्फ वागेशन सिर्फ सगैराज सिर्फ ब्रिजेट सिर्फ लक्ष्मी सिर्फ गौतम सिर्फ एरू सिर्फ दासी एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ यू हुम आई कैनॉट सी सिर्फ all of you who are on the call today we have an interesting topic i don't know how many of you follow this topic how many of you follow the topic of mumukshutra if i did not have the word mumukshutra today i would not be able to capable of speak to you to be able to speak to you and to me therefore the word mumukshutra has got very special meaning my dear friends so what am i going to talk to you about today i'm going to talk to you about that one word that can transform your life mumukshutva is a deep yearning some people have a yearning for yoga some people have a yearning for bhoga some people have a yearning for g o l d some people have a yearning for g o d what are you yearning for do you have meaning and purpose in your life do you want to exist or do you really want to live do you want to find out who is the one who created you not your mother and father your mother and father for some act of pleasure got you into this world but the fact is that it was not that act look at this it is a fact that it was not that act that created you you were created because of the divine and are you seeking that divine my dear friends so today we are going to talk about what is this mumukshutra what is this deep yearning what is this deep longing all about what is this burning desire this passion this obsession for realization for enlightenment for liberation and for unification with the divine do you really seek god like i used to seek god i must tell you that one of the most important things of my life i loved god i loved god i love god and for me i see god in all of you and because i see god in all of you i can remain in a state of yoga because i remain in the state of yoga i was gifted the yoga of prema yoga you know prema yoga is not an easy gift prema yoga is a divine gift not everybody can fathom can even understand the meaning of prema yoga but it all comes from mumukshutra mumukshutra is the golden key it is deep bhakti it is deep devotion most people in this world they are seeking pleasure of the senses not the treasure of mumukshutra most people in this world my dear friends they don't even understand they don't even understand that there is something called divine intoxication they are so caught by addictions people are so caught by an addiction that they do not understand that there is something called a divine intoxication the divine intoxication is is far more than anything else in this world but we must realize that this divine intoxication comes from mumukshutva it leads us to a state of eternal happiness a state of liberation and liberation from all suffering and misery you know the reason i speak about mumukshutva because first of march is mahashivratri and every year on mahashivratri i used to fast i still fast i still sing but my bhakti my devotion for god started when i was 8 years old i was just 8 years old and i started praying i had deep love for lord shiva for me i wanted shiva i wanted my god and that's why i went in a talash i went in a quest i became heir only after 2014 you know that but the point is what made me became air do you know have you heard some of my songs what i used to sing to shiva have you heard i used to tell shiva mere dil mein bas ik tum hi ho tan man mein aur koi nahi ho ऐसा हो जाए बस एक तुम ही हो 
इतना भर दे फिल्मी फिल्मी सो मच इतना भर देखे और कुछ नहीं हो मेरे दिल में बस एक तुम ही हो When I wrote this bhajan, probably this is bhajan number six fifty, and today I finished bhajan number twelve hundred and eighty. That means this bhajan has written six hundred and thirty bhajans. You know, it it is more than six seven years back when I was not even heir. And how could I write at that time? How could I tell God, "Hey, ye aastha mukammal tum hi ho, jivan me mere koi nahi ho." कन कन मेरा तुम बस तुम ही हो आई टू सिंक टू गॉड और कुछ भी आए जगह नहीं हो मेरे तन मन में मुकम्मल तुम ही हो बस एक तुम ही हो बस एक तुम ही हो अमनी अब यू सिंग टू गॉड लाइक दिस ओ लॉर्ड फिल मी विथ दाई डिवाइन ग्रेस Fill me completely with you. May the how many of you feel God in your consciousness every second that you breathe, in every breath? Can you feel conscious? Can you feel God? I feel. I feel I am in yoga. I feel I am a yogi. And today I share with you how to be a yogi, how to be able. I was lucky. My story started with my grandfather. My grandfather had polio. I used to sleep with him. He had he he, he was his my grandmother passed away, and I used to sleep with my grandfather. I can remember at least from 1980, when I was 13, 13 or 14 years old. I was a small boy. I used to sleep with him for seven, eight years till he passed away. And there were times he would fall off the bed, and he would be completely uh, need to be cleaned. And as a boy of 14, I would lift him with my hands. I could barely carry him. But I would lift him and I would put him back on the bed. This is all the divine drama. This is all the grace of the divine, my dear friends. But he used to tell me any time, any time, anything used to happen. He had one mantra. He would say, "Chau Shiva, Chau Shiva, Chau Shiva" means just say Shiva. Anything goes wrong, he would say Chau Shiva, which meant in his words, surrender, surrender. My grandfather. Taught me faith. My father is a man of great faith. Who today also my father. He comes every day and does the arti, deep devotion. So I grew up in an environment of faith. But is that enough? No, that is not enough. Faith is not enough because faith can only start your journey. Faith cannot take you to the ultimate destination. So my dear friends, one day I got a vision to build a temple, to build a statue. I just got a vision. There was no money. There was no land. There was no architect. There was nothing. But God gave me a vision: build a huge statue, and I built a statue. Miracle happened. With faith, all things are possible. But the point is, my journey of Mumukshutva started maybe ten, fifteen, twenty years ago. I don't know how many of you have got this Mumukshubhava. the mumukshu bhava means that you have got this bhava the emotion of a mumukshu who is a mumukshu a mumukshu is one who wants god a mumukshu is one who has a deep yearning for the divine my dear friends do you have that deep yearning for the divine that is very very important you must have this deep yearning and i told you i wrote many bhajans i have written 1280 bhajans so today i am sharing a few One bhajan I wrote at that time was, "Jo bhi karo, bhole main ye chahu, tera saath ho, har pal main ye chahu, ek pal bhi main na ho akela, ye chahu aur kuch na chahu, jo bhi karo, bhole main ye chahu." मेरे दिल में भोले सा करो बस जाओ ऐसे जगना छोड़ो ढूंढू दिल में 
बस तू ही तू देखो कोई और हो ये तमन्ना ना हो मेरे दिल में तू हो और कुछ नहीं हो सांस सांस में भोले तू ही बस तू ही हो ऐसा होता तो जीवन सफल हो और मैं भजन टेलिंग गॉड मैं भजन टेलिंग गॉड ओ गॉड कैन आई हैव यू 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 एंड नथिंग बट यू दिस इज द रीजन आई प्रॉब्ली गॉट अ गुरु बिकॉज द गुरु फाउंड मी टू बी अमोक्ष द गुरु फाउंड मी टू डी टू बी अ डीप सीकर ऑफ गॉड my dear friends it's very important to seek god and not seek god by just doing rituals and these are pujas and archa no 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 you must seek god from deep within the depth of your heart i wanted god i was searching for god my guru revealed he said you can't find god you have to realize god one day he sent me a mantra he sent me an equation a, an algebra equation man minus ego equals god god minus god plus ego equals man today do you know that if you drop you if you drop your ego you will become god do you even realize that if you drop your ego you will become god so my dear friends this is the reality you have to be able to let go you have to be able to let go unless you let go you will not find god and i sang hundreds of songs for god hundreds and hundreds those who come to the temple sudeep and rekha and lakshmi many of them are enjoying the bhajans ashok nichani i don't know if he is there they are so fond of these bhajans and the bhajans used to be all as if i am in love with god people who will think these are romantic bhajans because they think that they are all my bhajans are in love with god one bhajan said mere pritam mere premi prabhu sab kuch tumhi tum bin prabhu kya jeena tujhse bhakti prabhu aisi chahu tum bin kuch na tu mil gaya sab mil gaya tere liye main hu प्यासा पल पल मैं तुझको चाहता सांसों में मेरे तू बसा मन में आत्मा में तू है कन कन में तू ही मुझ में तुम बिन तो मैं कुछ भी ना जो भी हूं मैं तुम ही हूं तुम बिन मैं कुछ नहीं हूं तुमसे ही मैं हूं बना भक्ति मेरी ऐसी प्रभु तुम बिन ना कुछ तुम बिन मैं कुछ भी ना तुम बिन मैं कुछ भी ना ओ लॉर्ड व्हाट एम आई विदाउट यू आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव गॉट दिस मुमुक्षु भाव एंड टुडे माय फोकस इज ऑन दिस मुमुक्षु भाव हाउ कैन यू attain god realization and i'm telling you one thing if there is no bhakti there can be no shakti which will give you mukti therefore if you really want mukti moksha nirvana enlightenment you need to be a mumukshutva ashok maheshwari note you must seek you must seek god you must seek god there must be deep yearning deep yearning tu hi tu prabhu tu hi tu i want you i want you i want nothing but you there was this man who went used to go to this guru and tell this guru i want god i want god show me god give me god one day the guru said okay i'll show you god because he wants god 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 one day when they were walking they went to have a bath in the river when the devotee was in the river you remember the story the guru caught him and put his head under the water oh, 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 then the guru told him what were you thinking when you were under the water the devotee said i was only thinking one thing air 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 i want air i want to breathe i want to live then the guru told him one day when you seek god like you were seeking the air to breathe that day that day 
you will find God. That day you will realize God. You think God will come to anybody, my dear friends? You think anybody, this God will come and say, knock, knock, who's there? Open the door, I am God. You think God will come to you like this? You must be joking. God will not come to anybody. God only will reach those who genuinely seek God. Are you seeking God? Are you yearning for God? This seeking, this yearning is called mukshutva. I went on a talash and I wanted God. I asked my guru, how to find God? Where is God? What is God? You know, in my questions, I asked the question, where is heaven? Where is God? Who is God? What is God? How can I meet God? Then I realized that God realization only happens after self-realization. If there is no self-realization, there can be no God realization. If there is no yearning, no mumukshutva, there can be no self-realization. Please remember this. I don't know whether Hitkari ji in your keys and in all the tips I've given you all, mumukshutva hai ke nahi hai. I hope mumukshutva should be there. So do you think mumukshutva is there in those tips? Without mumukshutva, without being a mumukshu, forget it. You cannot attain God realization. When I was on the journey, I found there were four doors. Vivek, Vairagya, Shat, Shampat, Mumukshutva. There were four doors. But the final door was Mumukshutva. Discrimination, dispassion, the six disciplines, but deep yearning for God and liberation. I was on my way. Once I, I started, I used to do a lot of seva. You know, I had, I had, um, I have a charitable homes. I have 700 people today. We are serving dinner today to 700 people. And earlier, I used to serve people because I wanted to do good karma. I wanted good karma. Today, I tell everybody, we call these humanitarian homes today, we call them SHIP, S-H-I-P, which means serving humanity is prayer. You remember what Vivekananda said? Vivekananda, what did he say? He said, Shiv Gyani Jan Seva Vivekanand ne ye kaha Dukhiyon ki seva Jo karta Wohi Shiv ko paata Ehsaas jisko hota Shiv sab mein Woh puja karta Jo seva karta din dukhiyon ki do you, do you bow down? My Guruji, he used to serve people, but he used to touch their feet. My Guruji would bow down to the poor and give them clothes and give them money and give them grains, but he would first touch their feet because my Guru was an enlightened person. Dada, he could not explain this to everybody. I can tell you, Dada could not explain this to everybody. Why? Somebody would ask Dada once, Dada, you're giving money to these beggars. You're giving food to these beggars. Why are you touching their feet? <laughs> Dada, Dada could not explain this to them, right? Because they would not understand that I am touching their feet because there is the divine. There is God in each one of them. God manifests in each one of us. My dear friends, we have to, we have, to have this deep mumukshubhava. Mumukshutva is that deep yearning for God. The Mumukshutva makes you a yogi. What makes you a yogi? What makes you live ever united with God? Because all the time, what are you thinking? Prabhu, 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 Prabhu. If my Guruji, the one word which was always on his tongue, on the tip of his tongue was what? Prabhu, 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 Prabhu. All the time he had the word Prabhu, Prabhu, Prabhu. The yogi, the mumukshu, the yogi who lives all the time in yoga. The yogi yearns for God. When I went in search for God, I asked God sometimes, I asked God many questions. One day I asked God, Dharti pe hai ya asman mein hai to kaha tu hai hole na. I asked God, Dharti pe hai ya asman mein hai to kaha tu hai Bholenaat, 
Bhole Nath, Mere Nath. Bridget, what this means? Oh Lord, where are you? I want to search for you. Are you on the earth or are you in the heaven, in the sky? I want to find you. Where are you? I used to ask God. I used to find, ask God, Oh Lord, where are you? Then my Guruji taught me the triple yearning. I don't know whether Dasi, the Guru, the Dada told Dasi this or not. He said, if you want God, you must have what is called the triple yearning. One more than a miser has for gold. More than a lover has for the beloved. More than a child has for its lost mother. Dada used to always talk of this triple yearning. One day he told, he told us this story. Imagine there's a robber. Imagine there's a robber. He has come to rob. And he's staying in a room. They've given him a room. And he has to rob. And the entire thing that he wants to rob is in the next room. Next to his room, which is locked, there are 100 kilos of gold. 100 kilos of gold and he's staying in the next room. He wants to rob. Can he sleep? Can the robber sleep? He cannot sleep. Why? Because he wants to rob the 100 kilos of gold. How will he rob the 100 kilos of gold? My dear friends, similarly, a man who loves God, he has the same feeling. He has the same, only he doesn't want gold. He wants God. He has deep yearning. He has a deep yearning for God. Why is this deep yearning for God important? This deep yearning for God will take us towards that state of neti neti tattvamasi. It is this deep yearning for God, the passion that will lead us to realization. So many people, they want nirvana, moksha. They don't understand. They can't get it. They cannot get nirvana, moksha. Because they are trying to do shortcut. They are trying to have God realization without self-realization. How is possible? How is possible? It's like without sitting in the plane, you want to fly from Bangalore to Bombay. Without sitting in the plane, how can you fly it from Bangalore to Bombay? You can go by train. You can go by road, by bus, by walking, by cycle. But without sitting in the plane, how can you reach Bangalore to Bombay in two hours? Impossible. The only way is to sit in the plane. Many people don't want to sit in the plane, but they want to fly from Bangalore to Bombay in two hours. Many people want God without Mumukshutva. Impossible. You need Mumukshutva. You need the passion for the divine, that Mumukshutva that takes you to self-realization and God-realization. You need to reach that state of neti neti. How do you reach that state? You have to realize. Do you realize what this song says? Ye tanto, ye tanto, panch tatvo ka bana, ye tanto mein nahi. Socha mein man tha par, man ko dhunda jab, man to kahi bhi nahi. Main to jab ki barish ki shak ऐसासुआ मैं ये नहीं आसमां में जो मस्ती मैं तो वही मैं ये नहीं When are you going to realize that? What I used to do when I was in a bhakta, I used to say Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya without understanding the meaning. Then I realized Om Namah Shivaya means Oh, I bow down to Shiva. Then I realized Shivoham, Shivoham. Shivoham means Shivaham. Shiva is not somewhere. Ganapati is not somewhere. Krishna is not somewhere. They are inside, my dear friends. Shivoham, Krishnaham means we are all, we are, we are the divine. What we see in Shiva, Krishna, Rama, that, bhak, that Shakti is inside us. Do you know? Some people laugh when I tell them. 
I have not done any training in singing. I have not learned singing. I don't know to sing. But I wrote 1280 bhajans. We have composed hundreds of musics. We don't know to compose. We don't know. I don't know to sing. I don't know the meaning of raga. I don't know anything about singing. But I'm able to sing. This is called a miracle. Because I only sing for God. I have written 1280 bhajans as of today. 1280. Only bhajans. I don't write anything else. Because I don't do it. God, the Lord, does it through a mumukshu. The Lord sings through me. So, the people who know me, before they could, they, I, was, I was like a donkey. Oh, you could not hear me. My voice was so bad. Today, at least you can hear me. It's not so bad. At least I sing. At least you can, you, I, it, is, it is hearable. It is, you know, you can bearable uh, my voice. So my, my point to all of you is that I always tell people who like to sing. I say, if you want to sing for God, God will make you sing. Some people are shy. Some people are scared. They don't have the confidence to sing. They don't have the courage to sing. So I say, you sing. Because God made me sing. God can make you sing. One of the songs I wrote, it said, Mek Basuri Prabhu Kuch Bhi Nahi Sangeet Hai Tera Mein Kuch Bhi Nahi Mein To Kuch Bhi Na Karta Jo Bhi Karta Mein Tu Hi Karta Lagta Bas Ke Mein Karta Lagta Bas Ke Mein Karta Mek Basuri Prabhu Kuch Bhi Nahi संगीत है तेरा मैं कुछ भी नहीं जो भी होता है तेरी लीला होता वही जो तू है चाहता जो भी इन हाथों से होता सच में तो तू ही है करता मैं क्या हूँ हूँ मैं कुछ भी नहीं तू ही सब कुछ मैं कुछ नहीं जब हूँ मैं कुछ भी नहीं करता जो मैं करता तू ही तुम बिन जग में कुछ भी नहीं सब तू ही सब तू ही सब कुछ है तेरी माया सब कुछ है तेरी माया does it look like I look like I'm not done any any singing training teach nobody has taught me to sing how because of Mumukshu. The Mumukshu goes from God to ship. The Mumukshu realizes God is within. The Mumukshu realizes the Mahavakyas. I think next week I'm going to talk to you on the, on the Mahavakyas, the four Mahavakyas. The Mumukshu realizes. What are the four Mahavakyas? I am Atma Brahma, Prajnanam Brahma, Tattvamasi, and I am Brahmasmi. So I am going to talk about this next week. Next week, I want to talk to you on the four Mahavakyas. Next Friday, with the grace of the Divine, if all is well, I will talk to you on this and how we have to move as a Mumukshu to Satyam, Shivam, Sundaram. We have to move from Shivoham, Shivoham. We have to move, my dear friends. We have to, we have to let go of this samsara. We, many of us are caught in this samsara. We are prisoners. We are caught by the mind. The mind is a rascal. The mind can kill you. That's why even today I was telling somebody, watch it, catch it, latch it. Don't let the mind make you a donkey. The mind is a monkey. It makes you a donkey. Take the guidance of the Guru. Get the grace of the Divine. If you are a Mamukshu, then that Mamukshutva is a magical key to Nirvana, to Moksha. Mumukshutva takes us to Sat Darshan, realization of the truth. Mumukshutva takes us to Jeevan Mukti, liberation from misery. Mumukshutva takes us to Moksha, to Nirvana. Mumukshutva is the magic key that will unite us with God. My dear friends, if you are not yet having Mumukshutva, today is the day to become a Mumukshu. Because it is the Mumukshu who lives like a yogi, ever connected. It is a Mumukshu who is a liberated soul. It is a Mumukshu who lives in Sat Chit Ananda. How to have the divine intoxication of Ananda 
आनंदा सचित आनंदा सत के चित्त में रहना हमें मिथ्य को दूर हमें करना सत के चित्त में रहना है हम नी ऑफ यू आर गोइंग टू लिव इन सत चित आनंद हम नी ऑफ यू आर गोइंग टू अटेन मोक्ष निर्वाण हम नी ऑफ यू वांट गॉड सो डीप so yearning ask me questions today on moksha on nirvana on the importance of mukshutva develop that passion that obsession that will take you to your destination develop that deep yearning that deep longing many of you talk of it right so often me dasi tells the deep yearning and longing for god that is called mukshutva the deep yearning the deep longing for god is called mukshutva we want to get there summary to close and to get into question answers what is mumukshutva mumukshutva is that state of deep yearning and longing who is a mumukshu a mumukshu is one who has a passion for god and liberation therefore you need to have this deep yearning for god deep yearning for liberation you go on a talash you go on a quest you let go of achievement you come to know that achievement has no meaning you go from achievement to enlightenment you live as a yogi you live as a yogi in that state of sat chit ananda ultimately at death you will be liberated at death you will not return to earth in a rebirth you will get moksha nirvana enlightenment my dear friends this is the ultimate goal of life to live as the divine soul so next week don't forget we are talking on mahavakyas and today if you have any clarity on mumukshutva mumukshutva is not my word mumukshutva comes from the upanishads mumukshutva comes from the vedas so you need to, to have mumukshutva deep yearning deep my guru ji what was the one thing he said we must have deep yearning for god deep not little bit but deep yearning so when you learn about the four mahavakyas next week you don't need bhagavad gita you don't need vedas you don't need upanishads i'm going to give you the entire scriptures in four lines next week session is very interesting the four mahavakyas but today let us get on to question answers administrator can we move on to question answers please yes yeah, uh, shivam ravi all well Uh, you see, I've been trying for the last nine months or more, even to, uh, longing for the Lord, but it's not coming. It's dry. So I was wondering what's happened and how to achieve it. Because you're not, it's, you're not, you're looking in the wrong place. The wrong place, is it? You're looking. You're, you're looking. You're looking for God in ashrams. No, 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 no. Not Daddy. really. Dasi, God is uh, God is next to you. When you go out of, if you're going out of your home tonight, just do what I'm saying, please. Okay. Just stop. Just stop, and look at the twenty people that you meet, and try <laughs> to offer them your bhakti. Whoever they are on the street doesn't matter. You don't know them. Just stop, and I challenge you. You will meet God today. I challenge you. You will meet God today, not tomorrow. If you can just stop, Dasi, I do it every day, Dasi. I meet God every day. Okay. For me, for me, God comes to me outside my room. I have trees, and little little birds come. They come and they, they come and they say help. They say namaskara. They say namaste, and they go. It's God. God is everywhere, Dasi. We are hmm. we are looking for God to come as Krishna, as Shiva. That God will never come. Your deep love and young and long. your deep yearning and longing for god will take you to god who is there next to you is it darshan is darshan a grace of god darshan yeah if you have that mumukshu if you have that yearning and what i'm saying if you try to do that if you try to see the god in the person outside your house you will get darshan you will feel god is blessing you from there right there don't be surprised if you believe It is the this needs belief, right? If you don't yeah. do it with belief, it won't work. But if you just and don't do it with somebody whom you will be embarrassed, just go by yourself. 
Don't go with some family member who will think that you're a fool, who will laugh at you. Just quietly, quietly go. If there's an auto wala or there's somebody sitting in, on the street and begging something, take something with you, take biscuits, take whatever you want and go with the attitude, Dasi, that that is God. Just go and try to see the God. God is in. God is the soul, the Atma in each one, in animal and beast. And you can listen to Dada's talks. And Dada's talks are all about this. Please listen to any of Dada's talks. I'm not telling you something which is different. Yeah. God. God is not in the temple. God is not in this. Uh, in this uh, big, big. Uh, you know what I mean. In all in these big uh, uh, ashrams where people are giving big speeches and talking about. No, God is where we are. God is here. God is now. There's not a single day I don't live with you. With God. I'm, I'm with God every day. Okay. All I, right. can, I don't see Dasi. I see mm. God in front of me. I okay. don't see Dasi. Okay. Good. Thank you. I bow down to you. Right, thank you. Next, please. Next question. Shivam. Shivam. हां हमें तो पता है भगवान कौन है भगवान तो मिल गए फिर भी तलाश में जाने की जरूरत है क्या नहीं अगर आपको भगवान मिल गए तो उसकी उसकी तलाश में क्यों जाना है अगर पेट ऑलरेडी भरा है तो खाने की जरूरत क्या है तो फिर पेट भरा है तो सो जाओ बस नेटवर्क चला गया तो क्या बोले फिर से बोले वही तो प्रॉब्लम है आपका नेटवर्क नहीं तो कैसे काम होगा नेटवर्क नहीं तो कुछ भी काम नहीं होगा ना प्रभु से नेटवर्क चाहिए पहले तो प्रभु से नेटवर्क बनाओ अभी अभी है बोल रहा अगर तुमने तुम बोलते प्रभु आपको मिल गया तुम्हें प्रभु की जरूरत नहीं है तो अगर खाना पेट में खाना है तो फिर खाने की जरूरत नहीं है सो जाओ नहीं मतलब भगवान तो वो कौन है हमें तो पता चल गया ना तो फिर अभी तलाश में जाके क्या करना है मत मत जाओ अगर तुम्हें भगवान मिल गया तो तुम सबको सब तुम सभी को भगवान का प्रसाद दो सब लोग बैठे हैं सब लोग प्यासे हैं सब लोग यहां पे ये कॉल में सब लोग भगवान चाहते हैं आप आके दे दो सबको भगवान भगवान को दिए थोड़े जाते हैं तो वही तो आप नहीं जानते भगवान क्या है ना आप समझते हैं आप जानते हैं तो आपको तलाश की जरूरत है आपको मुमुक्षु बनने की जरूरत है आपको आत्मा ज्ञान की जरूरत है आप समझते हैं आई डोंट नीड इट इंग्लिश में बोलते हैं वी आर ऑल इग्नोरेंट इंग्लिश में क्या बोलते हैं वी आर ऑल इग्नोरेंट एंड आवर बिगेस्ट इग्नोरेंस इज that we are ignorant about our ignorance our biggest ignorance is that we are ignorant about our ignorance so abhi is pe is bar mein sochiye ashok nichani thank you <coughs> shivam sir ji shivam sir ji i want to share some experience yes please share your sir ji i am in contact with you from many years okay and it is when uh, first time you when you started singing i used to think uh, how can you sing bhajans when other better singers were there so uh. i was very this thing are sab bhag jayenge i used to really <laughs> sir i'm very sorry <laughs> but i was very wrong sir ji i accept i was very wrong and within a short time i don't know how you started singing Uh, such bhajans in a melodious voice i am having more than 300 bhajans in my mobile all of yours which i share with other people who who are interested in shiv bhajans they they be careful wrong, they may run away listening to me they may run away be be careful they may run away no no sir ji no no it is no no it is they are asking me to forward <laughs> sir ji really it's uh, sips blessings that you can do uh, you did it in a very short period without any training no ashok i without don't do it any right? you know i don't sing he sings guru in singing you know you know the point i have in not done second, sare second one more one more sir ji yeah yeah yes sir ji you are right and one more thing sir ji yeah uh, from the day you when i came to know from your learnings that in every a uh, living being there is a sip so animals trees everything so i used to go to feed uh, crows in the morning 
on my terrace. So they used to come and I used to give them some food. So one day one eagle came. So I, <laughs> I took a stick and chased it away. Then after learning from you that every animal, every this thing has a soul inside and that is God. Then I used to go and pray there for that eagle to come. May unko abhi Prabhu bulata hu, birds and crows and uh, eagle. Very good. Very Prabhu good. aye, Prabhu, Prabhu aye. So nowadays, uh, some crows they come in the afternoon also and they come, keep on crowing outside my uh, terrace in the top, asking for some food. So it's a lunch time. So I go there again in the afternoon to give them something. You are blessed. You are blessed that you have reached this level. Everybody is not blessed. That's why we just know I was telling Dasi. Dasi says, I have deep yearning for God. But the problem is that we have a deep yearning for God. I was like Dasi. I was like Dasi. I had deep yearning for Shiva for 40 years. Dasi, I was seeking Shiva for 40 years. And Shiva did not come to me. For 40 years, Dasi, I was seeking Shiva from 8 to 48. In the sense that I had Shiva, I built a temple, I did bhakti, I wrote bhajan. But only when I went in Talash, then only I realized that Shiva is not Shiva. Shiva is Shivoham. Then only I, I, then I found Shiva. I realized Shiva in the temple of my heart. So Ashok, you are right. Very good, Ashok. And like you said, singing, I have not done even, even one. Sare Gama Padhani. So, I don't know. I don't know anything, Sarega. I'm not. Everyone in my. Every other members of my family in the afternoon when the crows come and call me outside crowing, they tell me, uh, Daddy, Apke Prabhu, I. <laughs> Very good. Not only are you doing it, you're making them realize it. So it is a great thing. Keep it up. Uh, thank you, Ashok. Keep up and yeah. thank you for sharing. Yes. Click Okay. Prabhu so, has come online. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Blico. So, uh, so the love for the mother from child, we can learn that belonging and for God, like if there is a child in everybody's uh, mind, right? Like they said, but we can develop that child child's love, instead of going to mother, we can think that it's God everywhere and I am like child, I love all my uh, God everywhere. So, the what, what I mean to say is we can learn from child because child is innocent and he only see his mother all the time whenever he is in the uh, playing but his uh, attention is over, towards his mother. And he checks his mother once in a while that whether the mother is here or not, near, nearby me or not. So that fear, and, and he's fearless about his own things because he knows that mother will take care of everything. So Bliko, will it help us? In no, Bliko, that you can do. I'm not saying it's not good to learn from a child. But remember, that is very preliminary longing. Mm. That longing that you're talking of is an innocent longing. What he can. But you need to have much more deeper longing. Not only that innocent childlike longing. What you're talking about is the innocent childlike longing. Correct? That is needed. But you must have conscious longing. Conscious, deep yearning. Just say some man wants whiskey. That man wants whiskey so much deeply. Or some man, he wants sex. He wants sex so badly. Or some man wants, some lady wants gold. She wants gold and diamonds. She wants it so badly. I am talking of that passion. Yes, we should have that deep passion for God. That deep desire. They say in life you should cancel all desires. Correct? You need to remove all desires except the desire for God and liberation. So what you and say is correct, but that's not enough. I'm taking you one step forward. Yeah. But in, in, in order to see God everywhere, in every, every creature and every atoms around us, that's a little bit require, uh, you know, uh, some insight. Because you see others and your mind will go on thinking about the forms and, uh, you know, 
uh, the behaviors but once you realize once see there are 10 methods of realization one method is called the scientific method where every molecule of matter is energy one method is called the peeling method if you peel your body if you keep on peeling the skin the nose the eyes the bones the organs what is left nothing is left nothing. we are that nothing which the buddha called anatta the buddha he didn't he didn't he, he he explained in a very different way in the hinduism they used to say atma then the people started saying meri atma teri atma achhi yeah. atma buri atma yeah. then buddha said ye kya hai meri atma teri atma no there's anatta buddha brought about the concept there is no atma what he meant to say is the atma is a power which cannot comp cannot comprehend so we need to have there are many ways to realize that all this that you are seeing for example satyam shivam sundaram and bliko the moment you realize it then you don't have to analyze it the moment you realize it then you don't have to analyze it why you don't have to analyze it because you have already realized it the moment you realize suppose i realize that you are not bliko yes. for me you are god i see you as god appearing as bliko god appearing as hitkari god appearing as ashok nichani god appearing as rumata ji i see god in all of you when i greet ashok maheshwari i don't greet him as ashok maheshwari and i don't greet any of you looking at your shortcomings because when you want to greet god you don't want to find the mistake in the manifestation of god so also if you love your pritam if you love your beloved as a devi if you love your beloved as a devi as she is your goddess then you don't find mistake in her you're not looking at the mistakes that is if your love is divine then you look at her and look look at her eyes and you see the goddess in her eyes you don't look at all the you don't look at her uh, you listen to her words and you don't listen to sometimes she talks nonsense that is the work of her mind that is not the goddess so what i'm trying to tell you is your answer how do i see god in all how do i have prema yoga my seeing god in all has led me to prema yoga prema yoga is a big gift where i am with god all the time how will you reach prema yoga prema yoga can only come bliko after you see god in phal mein prabhu to hai har jagah har shay mein wo hai koi jagah na jahan wo nahi hai kan kan mein wo hai uske bin kuch nahi hai sab kuch wahi hai sab kuch wahi hai you need this first you need this realization फूल में प्रभु है फल में भी प्रभु है सुगंध में वो है मिठास भी वही है बागों की जादू में सब कुछ वही है सब कुछ वही है सब कुछ वही है यू रीच दैट स्टेट आई कैन सिंग द सॉन्ग फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टू नाइट समाइम डोंट आई डोंट आई सिंग ब्लिको में प्रभु है कौमुदी भी वही है हितकारी प्रभु है महेश्वरी भी वही है गौतम भी प्रभु है चोटवानी वही है ब्रिजिट कैनेडा में है पर वो वही है गौतम वही है रो माता जी वही है एरु वही है लक्ष्मी भी वही है सरस्वती वही है गणपति भी वही है सब कुछ वही है सब कुछ वही लिखो यू गेट टू दिस पॉइंट यू कैन सिंग द सॉन्ग यू कैन सिंग द सॉन्ग ऑल द टाइम बिकॉज देन यू सी गॉड एवरीवेयर यू ओनली सी गॉड यू सी नथिंग एल्स सो यू रीच द स्टेट यू रीच अ स्टेट ऑफ what you just spoke about thank you next question from guruji guruji ha ko supreme supreme bolegi pehle ya ru mata ji nahi unko bolne dijiye supreme ko supreme ko supreme ke baad ru mata ji supreme boli yes so i want to share my experience uh, two three days back because uh, i am determined to see god and that has become my priority mm. uh, i was sitting on the table 
and uh, i just kept on repeating like as if it is a mala that i am sip and i am sip and i am i am sip and i am sip and i am sip and i was constantly thinking and uh, i don't know what it was so uh, i will not be able to put it in words but i just felt uh, uh that consciousness where you know the whole world or anything around me seemed to just not exist and i could feel that that i am the sip and that was it there was no other thought and i have a mirror in front of me at you know behind the table and i was seeing myself and i was seeing that i am this body and i felt that i am not this that i can see and there was this moment when uh, when this happened this experience this anubhuti whatever you call it and uh, i could see that i'm sitting there uh, but nothing uh, else came to my mind and i think that those uh, that uh, feeling uh, uh, was there for about 4 5 minutes maybe and then i realized that i'm coming back to you know my my consciousness of the room and that this body and all and then tears just rolled down my eyes and uh, i don't know what i felt but it was just like as if all the weight and all the worry and all that all that i'm holding on to all that just like sort of vanished in a moment okay good so these are divine divine experiences i don't want to comment on it they are divine experiences but when you are able to be in this state forever uh -huh. then you have reached your goal okay okay so these are good experiences try to repeat them try yes. to repeat the experience try to be in that state of bliss of joy okay uh, I don't want to comment on. I understand how you feel. A state of ecstasy, a state yes. of euphoria, a state yes. of bliss, a beautiful feeling. Yes. So, but you want that feeling all the time. You want. Yes. I live with that feeling twenty-four hours a day. Oh my God! Okay. So, okay. how do you reach that state of? Satke chit me rehta, ananda me rehta. सच्चिदानंदा हाल है वो आई वांट यू टू रीड दैट स्टेट थैंक यू थैंक यू एंड वन मोर थिंग आई वांटेड टू शेयर दैट एवरी डे आई सेंड यू माय मिनट्स एंड दैट कॉन्शियसनेस वाज लाइक अ होमवर्क लाइक बिकॉज़ यू हैड सेड एवरी मोमेंट एवरी आवर वन मोमेंट सो आई वाज ओनली डूइंग इट लाइक दैट देन यू नो अविनाश सावंत अविनाश सावंत हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड मी टू यू Okay. and we were together in a management program and that's how we, we became uh, quite good uh, friends in spiritualism like yeah. we uh, support each other so i was talking to him and i told him to write minutes and he told me that i am most of the time in the consciousness only sometime i am not i felt very very ashamed of myself <laughs> i am writing every day to this person who is so busy and helping so many of us only 10 times in the day i am remembering that I, so today i decided come what may no matter how busy i will be i will also be in that consciousness state and you will not believe uh, till about 4 o'clock in the afternoon 50% of the time i was in the consciousness although i had lots to do i had got to go to but, the court and all can I, it can was I, so nice okay can i tell you something but can i tell you something yes now you are trying to be in consciousness right yes what is the ultimate goal you don't have to try oh okay okay you don't have to try you just remain in consciousness yes you reach that state of consciousness you will get there i am only tell i am giving you tips my job is to give you tips how to reach that state you i also am in consciousness and sometimes my mind comes and the mind takes me to the like monkeys the like dog dogs tail to me the mind but then immediately i come back into consciousness okay i get out, i also get out of consciousness every now and then but i come back immediately back into consciousness So why don't you tell Sip to throw some langar from upstairs and then I will hold it. So he, I'll be in that consciousness. No, no. You know, again you are saying tell Sip. You are only Sip. See, you are telling yes. tell Sip. You are only Sip, na? Yes. Why you should tell Sip when you are Sip? You, you mean to, it you should? To, it should. Sorry. You have to discover that Sip inside you. That's all you need to do. So you mean to say that it should come naturally, like from inside? And it will come. it will come naturally not it should come it will come just continue your effort as you are trying to do this effort and effort and effort suddenly it will become effortless 
you will not have to make an effort. Thank you. Thank you, sir. She was. Ru Mata Ji, tell me. Pranam Guru Ji. Pranam Mata Ji. Today we have to say Pranam to Kamudi or Supreme Kamudi also. Ah, Pranam, tell me. She has boliye. experienced such a beautiful experience. And Guruji, I want to add one thing to what Ashok Ji has said. Your yeah. bhajans and whatever you say is magical. So, हम आपका magic हमारे पर चलता है, चलते चलते हम पहुँचेंगे भगवान के पास जरूर. Ashok तो बोला कि भजन सुनके भाग गए वो. Ashok बोला after listening to my bhajan, he ran away. नहीं नहीं. कुछ. Ashok ने बोला. Ashok ने बोला तुम इतना बकवास. तुम इतना बकवास गाते हो तो हमने आपका भजन सुन के हम तो भाग गए अशोक ने ऐसे बोल आपने सुना नहीं आपने बराबर सुना नहीं उन्होंने कहा पहले ऐसा सोचा पर ऐसा नहीं था देखिए देखिए किसी की बातों को मैजिक नहीं समझना है डोंट लिसन टू एनी बडी ब्लाइंडली नॉट इवन मी इवन इफ आई स्पीक यू नीड टू Sravana, manana, nidhi, dhyasana. You need to listen. You need to ask, investigate, and realize the truth. Don't blindly listen to me also, and don't blindly listen to your rascal mind. Your rascal mind is your biggest enemy. Sometimes your rascal mind will kill you, and it will destroy you, and then you are finished. Be very careful. Don't listen to your mind, and don't listen to somebody else also until you. discriminate until you listen you introspect you question you ask then only you decide acha okay. guru ji kai bar aise hote hai ki hum trouble mein hote hain aur aur saath mein matlab ghar ka koi bhi member nahi hota ha but somebody whom we don't know will come for help you know us waqt wo hamari madad karta hai aur मतलब वो भगवान के रूप में आता है ना मतलब जो हमारी मदद करता है मुझे जानते नहीं कुछ नहीं और वो हमारी हेल्प करके चला जाता है हाउ एवरीबॉडी एक्सपीरियंस इज दैट व्हाट यू आर सेइंग एवरीबॉडी इन दिस कॉल विल एक्सपीरियंस दैट केम दैट यू आर इन ट्रबल एंड सम अननोन पर्सन केम टू हेल्प यू वी हैव ऑल एक्सपीरियंसड इट हाउ कम वी हैव ऑल एक्सपीरियंसड इट बिकॉज़ दिस इज द रियलिटी दैट गॉड मैनिफेस्ट्स गॉड मैनिफेस्ट्स एंड अपीयर्स टू हेल्प अस This is nothing mad. There's nothing uh, rare. ये तो मामूली बात है. ये तो common सी बात है. Okay. Thank you. तो शायद माँ. शिवम सर. Yes, शिवम. Sir, I I have a question. It's a uh, the saints of the many of the saints of India, sir. They leave the house and they resides in the ashrams or they go towards the mountains. Is it the right way, sir? to get uh, enlightened no that is not needed what you need to do is you need to have some time for introspection whether it is in your terrace or whether it is in your basement whether it is in the mountains or whether it is in the oceans that does not matter many people are confused seeing me many people are confused ye pagal aadmi kya ek din kashmir ek din maldives ek din finland ek din switzerland many people think i am a mad fellow No, why do you worry about me? My life is my life. It has got certain logic. My life, I keep traveling here and there. Some people ask the question: Why is a mad fellow? He can sit in his his office only and he can work. Why is tra traveling? That is their shallowness. They are not able to think. So, to answer to your question, to Shatma, suppose going to the forest is able to enlighten you, then please go. Suppose going to the forest is able to detach you, then please go. But if going to the forest is just one fancy thing, then don't go. I don't travel because of fancy. I don't go to New York and London and Singapore. I don't go to fancy places. Even if I go to Switzerland from the airport, I straight away go to the mountain, to the top, where I feel God's presence. For your information, the only place I go is I go to feel God's presence. I go from place to place, place to place to feel divine presence of the of the Lord. So. Uh, you don't have to go into the forest my answer to you but you need silence but you need a place where nobody disturbs you it may be it takes sitting in a boat and going in a river for 3 days it may be may just mean going like like gautam told gautam told i am going to village yeah you go to the village in rajasthan 
nobody is there i want to go to village gautam told me i go to gautam go to village it does not mean that you have to go to switzerland or you have to go to kashmir no you go to a place which is silent and you get there that is Thank important you. I have two sir, more people sir, pending. I see Shilpa sir, and Atmatre. Atmatre, you wanted to ask a question, Atmatre? Uh, I want to say, sir, uh, when we know the importance of God, Sip, huh? at that time, automatically, uh, the level of uh, Mumbukshatwa is uh, increases. I think uh, so. People... Not, not always, Atmatre. There are many people who are praying to God out of religion. They are not. Uh -huh. Let me explain to you. There are many people, every day they will come to God and they will say, Prabhu, Prabhu, today I uh -huh. bought some farsan, some new farsan uh -huh. I bought for you. Prabhu, Prabhu, uh -huh. I bought farsan, you please eat. Then somebody will come and say, Prabhu, Prabhu, I bought Karachi, Karachi jalebi I brought. Prabhu, Prabhu, this is some, some people came and gave me just now. See, yes, Karachi yes. jalebi gear, kya bolte, gear, kya bolte, uh -huh. gear, bolte na, aap log khate na, gear, mm -hmm. Sab, sabse badiya gear. Eh? Ashok uh -huh. Chodwani knows this gear. Karachi okay. gear. Huh? <laughs> so, the people, so, these people who are trying to please the God, they don't have any mumukshutva. Huh. They just have bhakti. They don't mm -hmm. want God. They just want fancy. They keep on telling everybody, Pata hai, tumne, aaj humne ganapati ko laddu khilaya hai. Pata hai, humne bada bada budi mangaya. Pata hai, now, what is this? Pata hai, mene ganapati ko laddu khilaya. Kya matlab hai, atmatra hai? Is there any moment she think, was there? No, sir. I think uh, people are uh, looking God as a giver. Vardhan deta hai. Jo bhi hum chahate, wo deta hai. Magar, uh, when we, uh, when people realize that God is everywhere, inside, in uh, every person and every animal, then uh, real mumukshatwa will Riz. So just to tell you, Atma, just to tell you, Atmatray, Mumukshutwa is a very personal thing. Yeah. It's a very personal thing. It is, if you really love God, see, yeah. in this ladder to heaven, I wrote a book called Ladder to Heaven. In okay. the first seven steps of this ladder, ladder to mm -hmm. heaven, first is you accept God. You believe mm -hmm. in God. You have faith in God, hope God, trust in God, enthusiasm in God, and you love God. How many steps? Seven, seven steps. steps. Everybody has got the seven steps. Correct. But only the person who is a deep mukshutva, deep muksho, only mm -hmm. that person will go in talash. Other mm -hmm. people will just go to temple and say, Hare Krishna, <laughs> Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. They will sing up to 70 years, 80 years, 90 years. When they are dying also, they will be saying, Krishna, 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 Krishna. Is that Mumukshutva? No, sir. It's ah. only enjoyment only. No, that is bhakti. Their... That is yeah. bhakti. Yeah. Bhakti will not give you God. Mm -hmm. You want Mumukshutva. Mumukshutva, ah. suppose I'm asking one question. Suppose I'm in love. Suppose I'm in love with a girl called Radha. Huh? What's my girlfriend's name? Radha. Radha, Radha. Hey, Radha, Radha. Meri Radha, 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 Radha. I keep on Radha, Radha, Radha for 10 years. What will happen? Nothing. One day Girish will come and tell Radha, will you marry me? Girish, Radha will tell, okay, Girish, let us marry. And Girish will marry Radha and ah, will take Radha. Take it. <laughs> right. And what, and what I will be doing? What I will be doing? <laughs> Crying. I will be keeping on chanting Radha, 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 Radha. Nah, but people, sir, knows na, Radha is a uh, devotee. Ani. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make you understand. You need action. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Mumuk Shutwa is the one who doesn't or not only keep on chanting the name of God. You mm -hmm. need action. Yes, yes. You must you must go in quest of God. You must search God. You must want God. Then only you can get God. Last Very question, good. Shilpa. Hi. <clears throat> so my question is actually based on Jyotin Chiza Bolteo, Manana uh, Shravana Manana Nididhyasana. Yeah. Uh, it, from that uh, mumukshutva ke topic 
पे जब आप बात कर रहे थे उसमें आपने एक चीज बोली थी कि वेन वी ड्रॉप द यू लाइक यू सेट वेन यू ड्रॉप द यू यू फाइंड गॉड और यू रियलाइज दैट यू आर द गॉड राइट सो आई वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द यू द ईगो इफ वी ड्रॉप दैट एंड वी रियलाइज दैट आई एम द गॉड तो वो गॉड कॉम्प्लेक्स नहीं हो जाएगा देन आई विल स्टार्ट फीलिंग मोर ईगो स्टेक ओह मैं तो भगवान हूँ मैं हूँ तो शय हूँ बाकी सब फालतू है so how to manage that how to not fall into that trap the moment the moment you when you drop that ego you will not say what you are saying now what you are saying now is saying your what you are saying now is the ego talking that's why you're not able to see, that's why that's why you're not able to see it na your do you, do you realize the one who is talking now is not you it's your ego when the no, my ego, question is if no, i ask your question i understood your question what i'm saying the moment even you drop that you that ego mm-hmm. then what you're talking that question na i will feel i'm god i'll become even more egoistic that is ah. a myth that will disappear that will mujhe confirm karna tha ki god feel hone ke baad ye na ho ki ego ulta badh jaye nahi impossible hmm. impossible that immediately uh, the minute you drop the i the ego hmm. there is you will feel completely egoless the the god the godliness in us is not egoistic so try it try to drop the you and you start feeling it then you can come back to us but there's no question please be sure that your ego will not go up it will drop it and you say i that, that's why the definition in google of i am brahmasmi is i am god my hmm. definition is not i am god hmm. my definition is i am nothing only god is we have to hmm. see it in the right way we should not say i am god we should say i am nothing only god is thank you shilpa my dear friends today's session was very interesting for me i have shared with you a very important word the word is called mumukshutva mumukshutva is to be a mumukshu a deep yearning a longing for god for liberation and remember this like i told even dasi don't wait for krishna to come in your dream with the murli in his hand no you have got deep yearning and longing for god step out of your house god is waiting for you on the footpath god is just there right now after this call is over don't look at the skin look at the god that is within that is the secret that is the secret of yoga that is the secret of realizing god that is the secret even of prema yoga otherwise you will never reach that joy that bliss of prema yoga never never ever you will always see the beauty of the skin you will never see the god that is within every beggar on the street ha huh? what did dada said the diabetes so dada used to always talk about how uh how he used to meet people on the road Uh, he used to say dada used to say did i meet him on the road my guruji used to say did i meet him on the road did i leave him with the load did i meet him on the road did i leave him with the load these are the words of my guruji whenever you meet somebody on the road don't leave them with the load everybody is carrying some load and if you see god in them if you really want to see god and goddess then be a mumukshu have a deep yearning my dear friends and you will realize god i bow down to you